Today we're taking a look at a new portable foldable CCTV. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new MagnaLink Zip. This guy is brought to us by LVI, Low Vision International. And in fact, my buddy Charlie let me use this to make this video. Thank you very much, Charlie. So if you are new to vision impairment, a CCTV, a desktop digital reader, digital magnifier, it's got a lot of different names, can be so helpful. It's always been one of my must haves for low vision. And there's a new trend in CCTVs and that is making them smaller and portable and easier to use. So here is the zip folded down, super compact, lightweight. I believe they said it's right around 10 pounds. So easy to carry around wherever you need to take it. Then when you want to open it up, very simple. Place your hand on the bottom tray here and you just want to lift up until it clicks into place there. Then you just bring your screen around all the way up until you hear the click of the camera popping into position. And then once it's in position, you can adjust it wherever you need the screen. Lots of different options and the camera doesn't move. So you can put this screen wherever you want it. Okay, so let's take a look at the controls and the functions of the zip. So all the way to the left here, you have the power. We'll go ahead and turn it on. So we have a large dial right here in the middle. This is our magnification. And that is as big as we can make it. it. Says that's about 22 times magnification. Right next to that on the right, we have our color contrast buttons. There's two buttons. The one on the left changes from full color to a gray scale. And the one on the right cycles through all of our different color options. And we have lots of different color options, yellows and greens and reds, lots of different options. When we find one that we like and we want to switch back to color, we just push the color button and we're right back in color. So now if we want to go back to that blue color, it's right there waiting for us. We don't have to cycle through all the other colors to find it again. So that's really nice. If I click the magnification button here, it's a finder, so it'll zoom out. I can readjust my paper for a different area to zoom in on. Say we wanna look at that signature down there. I think it's a signature. When I click it again, it zooms in on it. Then finally, the button all the way over to the right here is a function dial. So this will cycle through all the different functions, the menu of this device. And this thing can do a lot, guys. It's not just magnification. Right now, we've got it set to brightness. If I click the button, we get into our menu here. So you can turn on or off autofocus. That's great because if you're writing underneath here, Sometimes the camera might try to focus on your hand instead of the document that you're writing on. So you can turn off autofocus and it won't do that anymore. We have a mirror mode. We'll come back to that in a second. There's a focus mode so you can set to manually focus. Next we have all of our different guidelines here. If I click on that, I can cycle through all the different lines. You've got horizontal line, reading line, vertical reading line. You even have these shades, some people call them the barn doors. If I click on it now, now I can adjust it by spinning this function dial. Next we have the lamp, so you can control the light. And it's not just on or off, we can set this at whatever level of light that we need. Sleep mode, you can set that to how long it will take for the device to go to sleep when you're not using it. It turns off the light, turns off the screen, but the device is still on. So whenever you come back and you start moving around down here, the device is gonna wake up again and you'll be ready to go again. That's pretty cool. Shut off mode works very similar, except the whole device will shut down. Screen, you can connect this to a computer or another screen and choose which screen the image will show up on. Now the colors show up just 
wonderfully on this device, on the CCTV. It's got a great camera, great screen. This would be perfect for looking at photos, family photos, things like that, magazines. Now this also has distance viewing. So the way that works, all we do is lower down our screen here and then we can pop up our camera, rotate our camera. And this camera can then swivel all the way around whatever direction you want to point it at. We can even, I can even look at myself. Let me zoom down here so we can see me. Hey, there I am. So I could use this to trim up my beard, which I actually do need to. Let me angle it down a little bit. I can do that. I can brush my beard. Someone could use this to putting on makeup, brushing your hair. I mean, tons of possibilities for this. So you remember I mentioned the mirror mode that was in the settings. Well, that's for distance viewing. So if you notice, if I reach up and touch my right cheek, the picture on the screen here shows me touching my left cheek. Well, you can imagine if I was trying to put on makeup, <laughs> that could be very difficult. So we just need to go in here into the mirror mode and click that. So now if I touch my right cheek on the screen, I'm also touching my right cheek. So that's going to make it much easier for, you know, putting on makeup. Like I said, if I needed to trim my beard up, I know I'm trimming the right side and it's going to make it much easier. All right, guys. So that is the MagnaLink Zip. Really cool little CCTV. If you have any questions about this, I'm gonna put the contact information in the description down below for the guys over at LVI. Give them a call, shoot them an email. They'll be able to answer all your questions. If you like the video, you like what I'm doing here, definitely give it a thumbs up. And also be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Turn on notifications so you always know when I upload a new video. One to two videos uploaded every single week. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.